Hello, everyone. Welcome to the CSI studio. I'm Mark Dorsey, CSI Chief Executive Officer. I'm here this morning with Nancy Novak. Nancy, would you tell us a little about yourself, please? Hi, Mark. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm Nancy Novak. I'm Chief Innovation Officer for Compass Data Centers. Um, innovation is my new, um, I guess, lease on life, and I really like to drive good behavior with innovation um, through the construction industry. Well, speaking of construction industry, I didn't know that you built launch pads in addition to data centers because you had a love for data centers. We heard this yeah. morning, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Big love. Oh, yeah. But uh, launch pads and data, I mean, you know, data is important when you're launching sh uh, ships into space, right? Very much yeah. so. Yeah. It was the, one of the funnest jobs I've ever done. I can only imagine. I'm a little envious, by the way. So a couple things extending from your conversation with all the attendees here this morning. Thank you for that great keynote. The first thing I wanted to go to was the conversation that we had about women in the workforce, particularly in construction management. Would you mind elaborating, and, and certainly for any women that are uh, watching this, how do they get involved and, and how do they uh, become uh, more welcomed into the construction industry from your perspective? It's interesting because in the schools now there's a huge contingent of women graduating engineering courses. Um, and so filling the pipeline hasn't been as big of an issue when we intentionally go out and recruit looking for diverse um, employees and women. The struggle's been in advancement within our industry. That's where everybody kind of falls off the cliff. But I would like to say to those who are interested in the business, because like I said, we have 100% female CMs in the U.S. Uh, many of them never thought of construction as a career. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you right now, construction is a fascinating career. Mm -hmm. Every time you build for someone, you learn about their business. Mm -hmm. So if you're a lifelong learner, mm -hmm. it is fascinating to learn about hospitals and airports and schools and museums and launch pads, right? Right, right. So like you just can't get a more exciting industry that's not a nine to five clock in and clock out kind of a thing, right? So I encourage, when I recruit, this is the kind of excitement I like to bring to that. And then I would say once you get on board, our industry and our firms have to figure out better ways to make the women and make the diverse employees more welcome. Mm -hmm. There are many tips um, that we can do a around this, right? I mean, I actually incentivize our contractors to increase their diversity financially. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, the owners have control over this. Sure, and you know, just picking up on some conversations we were having with Kurt Moody and Lakeisha Woods, what I hear in that is, one, leadership has to set the example, and that means not just diversifying by having people among the workforce that are underrepresented populations mm -hmm. or underserved populations, but they have to not only be in leadership, you have to be intentional about that development. Yeah. And that's not going to happen overnight, no. but it, it, that, the fact that it's a longer term game doesn't mean you take your foot off the gas pedal. Exactly. Yeah. And we, all the grassroots efforts are amazing. They have to continue with those, but we do have to make a big splash occasionally and use that intentional thing. When I go to a job site, um, I tell my general contractors, you know, women are built differently than men. So when you give me a safety vest mm -hmm. and it's hanging off my shoulders and I can barely get it zipped around my hips, right. it doesn't make me feel welcome. That does trigger little things matter. Mm -hmm. So That's if true. you have equipment that fits, if that works for uh, different genders, then, you know, then you've created a welcoming environment. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. It's like you don't have to fit into my world. Yep. Uh, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very good. Nancy, thank you so very much for your time and joining us. And thank you, everyone, uh, for joining us. I'm Mark Dorsey, Chief Executive Officer of CSI, and you've been in the CSI studio.